and for what's happening in the world of sports, here's Ayotunde Balu. Thank you so much, Melissa. And for the first time since the 2015-2016 season, the Miami Heat has two all-stars on its roster. The Heat duo of Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler have been named reserves for next month's all-star game. It will mark Adebayo's first appearance in the NBA all-star game for the Eastern Conference, while Butler will become a five-time all-star. The 22-year-old Nigerian born is one of only two players averaging at least 15 points, 10 rebounds, four assists, one steal and one block this season. A short list that also includes reigning MVP and Milwaukee Bucks all-star forward Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, the National Basketball Association, that's the NBA, has confirmed it will honor Kobe Bryant in next month's all-star game in Chicago. That's on Sunday, February the 16th. Uh, Bryant and his daughter Gianna were among nine people killed in a helicopter crash on Sunday, January the 26th. The NBA also announced a new format for the game that will increase the level of competition, provide additional excitement and make the outcome of every quarter count for charity. A new fourth quarter format will honor the LA Lakers great and five-time NBA champion, the late Kobe Bryant. Kenya's world record holders Eliud Kipchoge and Bridget Kosge will lead a star-studded marathon team to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Multiple world champion and 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympic 5,000 meters gold medalist and 10,000 meters silver medalist Vivian Cherio and the reigning world marathon champion Ruth Chemgetich will also represent the East African nation. Now, the other top names in the men's team are last year's Boston Marathon winner Lawrence Chirono, world marathon medalist Amos Kipruto with Titus Ikiru and Bedan Karoki as reserves. Athletics Kenya said we'll name the rest of the team after trials in June in Eldoret, Kenya's distance running heartland that's some 350 kilometers northwest of the capital Nairobi. And that's sports news. I'm Ayotunde Balogo. It's back to you, Melissa. Thank you, AY. And for who's hot and who's not, here's some entertainment news. Kai Tiafia has the details. Here are your trending entertainment stories for today. Nigerian-American actor Tireni Oyanusi joins the cast of HBO's Americana. The story is based on Chima Amanda Adichie's book of the same name. The 10-episode series will also star Lupita Nyong'o, Zachary Momo, Uzo Aduba, and Corey Hawkins. Lupita took to Instagram to announce Corey joining the cast, and Nigerian actress Funola Ayofia B. Raimis joined the conversation in her comments to say, it's integral to the story that you cast Nigerians from Nigeria. Universal Music Africa, a division of Universal Music Group, announces the signing of award-winning Kenyan Afropop collective Saudi Soul to an exclusive recording agreement. The band is compromised of vocalist BN Aimi Baraza, Willis Chimano, Savara Mudigi, and guitarist Polycarp Otiano. Peruzzi's controversial start to 2020 continues with yet another accusation, this time from London-based singer Daffy Blanco. She claims she has paid 15 million naira for a songwriting service that has not been rendered and further alleges that Peruzzi tried to rape her and subsequently inflicting on her physical injuries. Peruzzi seems to have laughed off the accusation on Twitter in a post that translates to, here we go again with laughing emojis. And that's a wrap for today. I'm Akaita Afia and the News at 10 will return shortly. And the main news again. Leaders of the People's Democratic Party today asked the international community to intervene and save the country's democracy. They submitted protest letters to the UK and US embassies in Abuja. While the All Progressives Congress National Chairman Adam Sushomale dismissed the PDP's call, insisting that the opposition party does not have monopoly of protests. Also today, Southeast governors revealed their intention to establish a regional security outfit like Operation Amotekun of the Southwest. And the United Kingdom confirmed that it is finally leaving the EU today. And that's News at 10 tonight. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Walker. Have a great weekend ahead.